everyone and welcome back to my channel at home with the dietitian thank you so much for watching today we are going to be making an awesome snack I had this we had our, mostly just our immediate family um, but my wonderful father-in-law brought a new appetizer and I absolutely loved it and when he talked about how he made it I, I said we need to do this video because it's so delicious and so easy so I've got one of my assistants here, Noah, and we are going to be making sauteed shishito peppers. And shishito peppers are sometimes called one in 10 peppers. They are mostly mild, except sometimes approximately one in 10 are a little bit spicy. Not terribly, but a little bit. So if you're sensitive to spicy, be careful. So they look like this. They're a thin skinned um, bell type pepper. Um, and as I said, mostly mild. And I was able to find them at our local, we're in Chicago, so our local Jewel Osco. I have been told that they are also uh, at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, and they may be at a local um, ethnic market as well. So hopefully if you wanna try this, you'll be able to find them. And let's get started. Okay. Now, before we started, I washed off the peppers and then I patted them dry with a towel to take off most of the moistures because we don't want the uh, water popping up when we put it in the oil. So we're gonna put them in the bowl, just whole, so minimal prep. Noah, would you please add our oil? This is just a tablespoon of olive oil. Just pour it all over them. And then you can set that right here. Excellent. And then I am just going to toss. So we want to evenly coat the peppers and then once they're in our pan, they're, they've got oil distributed nicely on them. Okay, so that is all we need to do at this point. And next we are going to move over to our stove and get them cooked up. I've heated my cast iron skillet uh, over medium high. This is a slightly larger burner, so it's actually medium low on here. And I just did a light coating of oil in the pan as well. Um, and you want it to be a little less viscous so you can tell that it's get, getting warm enough. Um, you almost see a little shimmer in the oil. And then we are going to take our peppers and get them in the pan. And then you wanna just make sure, I actually switched to my larger pan. I had the smaller one, but you wanna make sure that they um, have enough space to blister and I'll show you in a minute what that means. It is essentially just a little bit of brown black on the pepper um, to, you don't want them completely charred, but just a little blistered. So we're gonna let those cook and do their thing. And um, then I'll just kind of shake the pan or shift them around a little as we go. While these beauties blister, I want to give you some quick information about their nutrition. So seven shishito peppers is, are only about 15 calories. So very, very light. Yet those seven peppers contain almost 25% of your vitamin D. They also have a little bit of vitamin A and a tiny bit of iron and two grams of fiber. So you're getting a nice serving of fiber. And obviously they'll, they'll have a few more calories with the olive oil, but it's nothing to be concerned about and that's all healthy fat. So they're a wonderful nutritious snack in addition to your day. Okay, so now I wanna show you what this blistering looks like. See how we're getting some browning um, on the, the side that's been facing down. Um, I'm hearing a lot of popping, so I'm actually gonna turn it down a little. Um, and you'll notice they start to pop up a little. And then when we're done, they will actually sh um, they will actually kind of shrivel up a little bit again, but that's okay. Um, we're just getting them all flipped over here so we can get the other side done and just be patient with the process. And this is a great way, if your kids don't mind a little bit of spice, this would be a fun way to get some, just some more veggies in. And, you know, if they can handle a little bit of spice, you could also pair it with um, like an aioli, which is uh, a mayo-based sauce, which would cut back um, a little bit, or maybe a little bit of sour cream, cut back a little bit on the spiciness. 
We have now moved our shishito peppers back into the bowl. And I cut a wedge, just a quarter of a lime, and we are going to squeeze that over. Noah, you want to do the honors? Squeeze it over the peppers. You got it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. That's good. And then I'm just going to toss it. Now there's different flavors you can do with this. You could do lemon. Um, you could even do uh, like a toasted sesame oil. And, you know, so there's different options. But I'm just keeping it simple. Just a little bit of lime and a dash of, if you have like a flake salt, this is a flake salt. Um, it's a little, little bit more intense. Um, or a pink salt. And that is it. So you would serve them. You could serve them warm or you could serve them cold. They're delicious either way. So, thanks Noah. Thank you as always for watching my channel, At Home with the Dietitian. Be sure to tell your friends to check it out as well. Um, and check back weekly for more videos and more um, great information about nutrition as well as ideas for healthy food. And please be sure to like and subscribe and check the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.